guys welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be an ultimate clean with me and it's a kitchen edition so I'm doing things that I don't normally get to do on a regular basis so a little bit of deep cleaning and also in this video I'm going to be highlighting products from the brand Sprayway if you guys have been watching my channel for a while then you already know that I am absolutely obsessed with their glass cleaner so I definitely wanted to highlight some of their other products so yeah we're gonna go ahead Head and hop into it. So one thing that had to be taken care of was getting these curtains down and getting them in the washing machine because they were filthy and I do like for my curtains to be a little bit on the longer side so it's really easy for them to get dirty on the bottom so anytime I'm doing a deeper clean I do like to go ahead and wash the curtains and make sure that they are nice and clean. to the washer and because I don't get to wash them too often I do like to put them on a deep wash cycle just to make sure that they're really clean because I know curtains can be a lot dirtier than what they look because of all the dust and everything so yeah I always like to make sure I'm doing that deep wash and Uriah is my little helper he always likes to help whenever he can so that's what he's doing here Always eyes I can be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes And I can't stop listening and now I'm gonna make my way back to the kitchen and I'm gonna clean the stove. So our stove is a little bit on the older side. We do plan on getting a newer one soon, but this one still works so we're not in any rush. But it does seem to get dirty really quickly and the eyes are really old. But I'm gonna use the Sprayway Multi-Surface Cleaner. Um, it's good for granite, glass, electronics, wood, and metal. So I'm just gonna spray it all over and I love using these microfiber towels. They are definitely an essential for me when it comes to cleaning. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it bright. Took the gas burner tops and I'm gonna put them in some soapy water just to help get off any gunk or anything like that. And now I'm gonna move on to cleaning the oven. And this is something that I like to do about every three to six months. It really just depends, but I'm gonna spray all over the oven with the Sprayway oven cleaner. And this is really good. So you spray it and you let it sit for at least 30 minutes. You can let it sit for overnight. The longer that you let it stay on there, the better it's gonna work. So while that does its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the vent hood. And this gets really gunky just from cooking and stuff. So whenever I do a deep clean, I always make sure to wipe it down really good. and this is something that I don't do on the daily just because it really doesn't get that dirty day to day but I'm using the Sprayway multi-surface cleaner and this does really great on your towel it works on a lot of different surfaces so it is a product that I would highly recommend so I will have a link below if you guys are interested in checking out any of the products that Sprayway has to offer So now that I've got the 
the backsplash clean, I'm gonna clean the countertops and I'm using the Sprayway Granite and Marble Cleaner. So our countertops are marble and this cleaner works really great on them. It cleans them and it also polishes them. So it leaves the countertops with a nice glossy finish. And I don't use this product daily, but I do use it at least once a week. And it really just helps polish and clean the counters. kitchen helper and I always get a lot of questions about this so I ordered it from Amazon and it's literally been the best purchase ever I'll link it below in case you guys are interested but it's really convenient because if your child needs to be counter height they can get in this and it's safer than being in a regular chair it keeps them kind of caged in but it does get pretty dirty because he uses it every day so I try to clean it pretty often I just spray it down and use these microfiber towels and I didn't realize how dirty it gets underneath so as you guys can tell that is pretty dirty so I went ahead and wiped under there as well making my way to the laundry room because the curtains are done so I'm gonna put those in the dryer. cleaner sit for about an hour or so and now I'm taking a damp microfiber towel and I'm just going to wipe all of this away and it's really wiping away easily and as you guys can tell it's looking really clean so this is a really easy way to clean your oven if you want to get rid of all of that gunk so um yeah I did use the spray away oven cleaner and I will have that linked in the description box So the oven is nice and clean now. The oven cleaner did a really good job. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the racks back in there. Now that the oven is nice and clean, I'm gonna take the stainless steel cleaner and I'm gonna clean the outside of the stove. And this is by far my favorite stainless steel cleaner. And believe me, you guys, I have tried a lot of different ones, but this one's really good. It gets off the fingerprints. It doesn't leave it streaky. I do like to use the microfiber towels. I feel like that works best, but yeah, it's definitely a favorite of mine. So I put the burner grates in the water so that they could soak to get off all the gunk and now I'm just washing over them so I can put them back on the stove.
thing back on the stove and most of these things I picked up from at home. I really love the wood aspect. I feel like it gives it a little bit of texture with all of the white. And now I'm gonna take everything off the island so that I can wipe it down really good. And I'm still using the Sprayway Granite and Marble Cleaner. That this sink was looking a little dingy so I wanted to use the stainless steel cleaner just to give it a little bit of shine and as you guys can tell it really just helped it look a lot better so I love that stuff and now I'm putting everything back on the island and the flower piece I got from home goods you know when outside was open so yeah I really love that floral arrangement and I'm just cleaning up everything that I had on the island and I have one more set of countertops that I needed to clean, so I'm taking everything off. And of course, I'm still going to use that granite and stone cleaner. And this is really great whenever you wanna give your countertops a little bit of a shine. So I got everything put back in its place and that's all the cleaning that I'm going to do for that day and now we're moving on to day two and this day mainly consisted of cleaning the windows and the furniture because the furniture was really really dirty so I'm gonna start off by cleaning the windows and I'm using the spray weight glass cleaner so this works really really well on your mirror and also your windows it doesn't streak so it is my favorite glass cleaner these doors and windows clean pretty regularly because this is near Uriah's little play area so he's all the time touching them and getting his fingerprints all over so I like to keep them as clean as possible and the weather here lately has been absolutely gorgeous as you guys can tell there's a breeze and the trees are moving so how has the weather been where you are um, I saw on someone's Instagram stories the other day that I think they were in Chicago and it was snowing and I was like, what the heck? So I'm very thankful for the sunshiny weather. It's been really, really beautiful. upholstery spray and I'm gonna spray it all over these chairs and I got these chairs from Z Gallery they're super easy to clean I've had them for quite some time they're really easy to clean but whenever I'm doing a deeper clean then I just like to go ahead and spray this all over them and I like to use my Bissell spot cleaner because that really just gets deep and helps get all of the stains out
quite some time to do and I didn't want to bore you guys by showing myself clean every single chair because you guys get the gist of it but um, yeah I really just sprayed the upholstery spray all over and used this Bissell spot cleaner which is definitely a must-have if you're trying to clean um, your sofa or your chairs or anything like that I highly recommend this product so I'll also link it below chairs are clean I'm going to clean the kitchen table and I'm using the spray away furniture polish and if you're wondering about the table I picked it up from Pier One to the third and final day so yeah this was like a three-day clean with me but I really didn't do much on the second and third day I just didn't want to spend all day cleaning so I just did a little bit each day so here I'm just starting off by ironing the curtains I needed to put them back up but they were a little wrinkly so I um, had to iron over them because I just could not hang them with the wrinkles that would just drive me crazy <laughs> It was like a total of six pair of curtains but I didn't want to bore you guys showing myself iron each pair but now that I have that taken care of I'm gonna move on to cleaning this sofa so I'm gonna take off the um, cushion covers and throw them in the washer never fails there's always so many crumbs and everything under the cushion so I'm just using the handheld vacuum to get all of that up I'm back at it with the upholstery spray and the Bissell spot cleaner I'm telling you if you have to clean any of your furniture then this is definitely a must-have And I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum over the floors and this is something that I feel is necessary to do every single day especially in our kitchen because it is a high traffic area and just vacuuming over the floors helps the house look cleaner even when it's not that clean so this is something that I try to do on a daily basis
you guys can tell there was a lot of dust on the floor and this just accumulates from being in and out so it's definitely a must for me to do daily now I'm gonna go over the floors with this Bissell cleaner I've had this for quite some time I'm not crazy about it but it is pretty cool so it does your hard floors and then also your carpet and the way they market it is that you don't have to vacuum before you start cleaning like it's supposed to do the vacuuming and the mopping at the same time but I really don't trust that so I always like to vacuum before I start using it so um yeah I just figured that I would use it today because it had been a while I normally like to use the steam mop but um today I just decided to use this put everything back in its place in Uriah's play area. The cushion covers were finished in the washer and dryer so I'm gonna go ahead and put those back on. covers are lighter than the sofa but the sofa is still a little damp from when I cleaned it earlier so I'm just gonna put everything back and now I'm going to go over this rug and I'm actually using this Hoover power dash so this is like a pet compact carpet cleaner it works really really well it really gets the dirt out of your rug so I would highly recommend this but that is pretty much it for this clean with me I put the curtains back up and put everything back in its place and we are done I hope you guys guys enjoyed this video if you did then be sure to give it a big thumbs up and be sure to check out the sprayway products i will have them linked and listed in the description box below and as always i will talk to you all in the next video bye